say, what could one thing that they could do in the next, for the month of this month, which is March, and if you see this another time, just for a month, what's one or two things that they could do to generate some qualified leads? So let's hopefully their sales process is up to speed that they can actually see more people. Mm. I think the easiest thing to do, Steve, right now is I would get your diary out and I'd structure some structured time to either talk to people individually. So you might, as I said, you might want to just get some structured time out and say, okay, I've got an hour every day that I can talk to people in my gym or fitness center or whatever they are, if that's, that's the situation, or if they're not in that facility and you're, you know, real estate or finance, or something like that, you want to spend, you know, block out a couple hours and then say, who can I partner with? Who can I connect with? That's going to get me my next opportunity. And um, that's where I would, you know, honestly carve the time. There's nothing greater than, there's nothing greater than, the, you know, the work works in the conversation. So there's nothing more you can do on that on old school marketing. Um, and obviously then everything we talked about, you know, Instagram stories and all those kind of things that, that scales and that gets people that you don't know looking at you to, uh, you know, to basically look at you. So but, I, I think what you're, what you've actually, and it's really good way of wrapping up seeing more people. And it's about seeing more people. I love it. Get your diary out. Everyone listen to me here and get your pen out and write this down. Richard said it really well. Just want to recap it because repetition is the mother of learning and skill. Get your diary out and pick one or two hours a day that you're going to pick to have a conversation with people. Get on the phone, get into your health club, get out to your business, walk the floor and have conversations. Just say hello. I think this is a big rock. The next thing he said, and I think it's something that gets talked about, but don't people, a lot of people don't do, is another hour, so one hour to do that, another hour, so two hours a day, sit down and say, who can I connect with to partner with? Who has my clients? Who can I create a relationship where I could help them and they can help me? As an owner of a business and, and a, a driver, your success as an entrepreneur and a successful sales professional or business owner will be around the power of your networks. There's no successful entrepreneur that succeeds unless they have a strong network. So spend an hour a day talking to people and saying, who can I partner with? Who can I help to connect with their networks? Now, if you just did that for two hours a day, you get a little bit of quiet time sort of being a technician, actually going working on your business. I believe that I think it's great because you'll be speaking to more people. Secondly, you can only convert when you're talking to people. And the last thing is if you're then connecting with other people's to their networks, you'll be able to see more people. And I think that's a great way of wrapping up um, a see more people. And, uh, no, and no, I'll just no, say it again. Before I leave, I heard this quote from a friend, my friend the other day. He says, a business owner will always be able to sell because they know that they've got to put the food on their table and they know what that sale means basically for their business. So you never have to worry about being a business owner and not sure how to market or how to sell. You always know intuitively because you know what that sale will mean for you, your business, your family, your team, your staff, you know what that means. And you'll do the best job, the right job that you know how to at that time. 